A History of Royal Incest and Inbreeding Part 1 Around the World Think Cersei and Jaime Lannister were bad? They've got nothing on real history. Incest, sexual relationships, and sometimes marriage between relatives has varied from an abhorrent practice to a common one throughout history. The primary reason for prohibiting incest is the potential genetic problems that can inflict inbred offspring. Most of us inherit 23 chromosome pairs, one of the pairs from each of our parents. On those chromosomes are the genes that code for everything from eye color to height to intelligence. If a child inherits a defective gene from one parent and a non-defective gene from the other parent, they are less likely to have that genetic disorder. However, if the parents are blood relatives, they are more likely to carry genes for the same genetic defects, and their children are much more likely to be affected by those defects. Mating between first cousins doubles the risk of infant death and physical and intellectual disabilities. The closer the relationship of the parents and the more generations inbreeding has occurred, the more problems compound and produce unhealthy children with multiple congenital defects. Through most of history, people didn't understand the genetic reasons why inbreeding caused so many health problems, but they knew that it was happening. Therefore, many countries and cultures have made laws banning incestuous marriages. But this hasn't stopped royals from inbreeding like rabbits mostly to consolidate power within families. Keeping blue blood blue and bloodlines pure has ironically inflicted a great deal of harm. Here are the stories of some of the most shocking incestuous relationships and tragically inbred individuals in royal history. Ancient Egypt Women were believed to carry the bloodline of the family. Therefore, it was customary for the eldest son and daughter of the pharaoh to marry each other and become co-rulers. King Tutankhamun, born in 1342 BC, was the result of generations of sibling marriages and his parents were brother and sister. He inherited the throne at the age of 10. He was a weak young man with a clubbed foot and scoliosis who walked with a cane. He had a necrosis or death of the bone tissue, which would have been incredibly painful. He had a cleft palate, oversized incisors, and a dramatic overbite, which was characteristic of his family. He married his half-sister, Anxinamun, who gave birth to two stillborn daughters. Their mummies were found buried in their father's tomb. Tutankhamun only ruled for nine years before dying at 19 of malaria, which was exacerbated by his many genetic health problems. Over a thousand years later and the Egyptians hadn't learned any better, Queen Cleopatra VII was the product of a sibling union. When she inherited the throne at 18, Egyptian law dictated that she had to marry and share the throne with a male relative. She wed her 12-year-old brother, Ptolemy XIII, and took advantage of his youth to keep power in her own hands. When Ptolemy was 15, he had enough support to overthrow Cleopatra, and the sibling spouses began a civil war over the throne. The queen seduced Julius Caesar and gained his support to overthrow her brother, who was drowned in the Nile after losing a battle. Restored to the throne of Egypt, Cleopatra then married another younger brother, 11-year-old Ptolemy XIV. Cleopatra's four children were all fathered by her Roman lovers, Julius Caesar and Mark Antony, and it seems unlikely that she had a sexual relationship with either of her brothers. Ancient Rome Despite incest being taboo and outlawed in Rome, Emperor Caligula is rumored to have had a sexual relationship with his favorite sister, Julia Drusilla. He wanted to marry her and emulate the Egyptians. When his beloved sister died of illness at 21, Caligula was by her side and refused to let anyone take her body away. He acted as a grieving widower and ordered the Senate to declare her a goddess. Caligula moved on to his other two sisters, Lavilla and Agrippina the Younger. When Caligula discovered that his sisters were also sleeping with Drusilla's actual widower, Marcus Lepidus, the jealous emperor had Marcus executed and his sisters exiled. 
After Caligula was assassinated, his uncle Claudius was declared emperor. His wife Valerie was discovered to be having an affair and she and her lover were plotting to overthrow Claudius. So the pair were executed. Claudius then changed the law forbidding incest so that he could marry his niece Agrippina. He named her son Nero as his heir. Nero married Claudius' daughter and his own cousin Octavia, making for another incestuous match. Agrippina later poisoned Claudius to make room on the throne for her son, Nero, who was not exactly Rome's greatest emperor. Japan Emperor Bidatsu ruled Japan from 572 to 585. When his first empress died, he elevated one of his consorts, his half-sister Nukatabe, to empress. The couple had seven children. After Bidatsu's death and several years of power struggles, Nukatabe became empress in her own right. She was named Empress Suiko and ruled Japan for 36 years. The Mayan Empire One of the great kings of the Mayan Empire, Shield Jaguar II, who ruled from 681 to 742, married his aunt, Lady Uxok. She was a popular and powerful queen, though she bore him no children. She is depicted here performing a blood sacrifice by threading a thorned rope through a hole in her tongue. She is summoning a vision of a serpent god to prepare her husband for war. The Inca Empire The Inca believed that the blood of the royal family was sacred as they were descended from the sun god Inti. In order to keep their blood pure, it was common for royal brothers and sisters to marry, much like the ancient Egyptians. Emperor Tupac Inca, who took the throne in 1471, had several wives and over 90 children. He left the throne to his son, Haina Kapak, who he had fathered with his sister. This so infuriated his more senior wife, who had expected her own son to be heir, that she poisoned and killed Tupac. Emperor Atahualpa Inca married his sister, Koya Asarpe. He and his brother were engaged in a civil war for the throne when Spaniard Francisco Pizarro arrived. Atahualpa offered his sister Inez to Pizarro as a wife, and she had a daughter by the conquistador. Despite the kind offer, the Spanish captured Atahualpa and used his incestuous marriage as an excuse to put him to death, effectively ending the Inca Empire. After Pizarro's death, Inez and her daughter Francisca moved to Spain and the daughter married Pizarro's brother, Hernando. Hawaii Since ancient times, marriages between members of the Hawaiian royal family were considered important for preserving pure bloodlines. King Kamehameha III ruled from 1825 to 1854. He had been in love with his sister Nahai Enaena since childhood and wanted to marry her. Christian missionaries objected to the sinful marriage, but Hawaiian tradition won out and the couple were wed. Nahai Enaena was expelled from the church and shunned by the newly converted Hawaiian people. She lived in isolation while pregnant with her brother's child. The baby died within hours of birth, and the shunned and grieving princess died three months later at the age of 20. Siam Rama V, King of Siam from 1868 to 1910, was one of the children educated by British teacher Anna Leon Owens, made famous by the musical The King and I. He is credited with keeping the British from colonizing his country and modernizing the nation which became Thailand shortly after his death. As was traditional, Rama kept a harem of 153 wives, concubines, and consorts, many of whom were cousins and sisters. In public, he only showed one of his wives as he knew the British would be appalled by his polygamy and incest. He fathered 77 children. His 69th was Prince Mahidol, who was the offspring of his half-sister, Savang. The prince suffered physical ailments all his life, but he had a sharp mind. He attended Harvard Medical School, then returned home to revolutionize medicine and public health in Thailand. But his inbreeding caught up with him, and he died of kidney failure at the age of 37. In part two, we'll focus on the royal houses of Europe, where marriages between cousins were the height of fashion, and the results were a litany of physical and mental problems for the miserably inbred royals. 
A very special thank you goes to my patron, Svenja. Thank you so much for supporting my work. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon and help me make more fascinating videos. A link to my Patreon is in the description. Thank you for watching.